Okay, this is the reveal, the big reveal. Really? Game night. Oh, we're on? We're on. Woo! What is it? Boundary water canoe trip, an adventure travel game for the entire family. I really, all, I thought you were just coming over for a drink. <laughs> nope. All the way from the BWCA. Really? Yep. Story about the oh. BWCA and how lovely it is. And Canada, too. Quetico. Boundary Water is Quetico. Amazing place. Uh, Friends of Quetico. Quetico Foundation. Boundary Water is organized. They're all trying to save the environment. Cheers to that. And they have a board game. Oh, and a map. Oh, look, dog. This is it. They have a map. So... The fun part now is setting it up. It even says United States and Canada. And Canada. In fact, you have to legitimately go to Canada and pick up your permit. No. Yeah. Okay. You have to choose your color. Ooh. So there's all these little tokens. It's like, wait a minute. Like, okay. Um, so you can choose one of those. I'm blue because water. Or green. Okay. Yeah. You're blue. Yeah. I'll be green. Okay. Because okay. green, you forest. I don't know. Sure. What pink and yellow and. Well, that's that's the outhouse. You're in color there. Yeah, pink for Hadley. All right. You can play Hadley. Okay. Oh, Pulp dog, this is exciting. Pull up a chair. Okay. Pull Angel, out. we're playing the Boundary Waters, United States of Canada, <laughs> board game. Blue for you. Where, so you just like so seriously, how'd you get this? I found out about this a couple years back, and this has been um, over two years? at <laughs> this has been over many years, 1991. This has been out since 1991. 91. 91. So at Quidico, you go to the visitor center, there's a library downstairs. Mm. They have an you know, oh, extensive yeah. library Fantastic. of all these books. So in there is this board game. And so I did like this complete double take. I was like, there's a board canoeing board game? And sure enough, there is. So then became the hunt to find it. Well, no one has it. Of course, it's, it's off the market. It's sold. The company that makes it, Trailblazer Books, no longer makes it. So it became a multi-year hunt on eBay to find a copy. And so this is the thing, like, like months yeah. ago you said, I'm coming over for yeah. a surprise, and yeah. it never happened. No. No, it hasn't arrived yet, Kevin. I'll, I'll be over there soon. It, it got doesn't. hung up at the border somewhere along here, I think. Just, of course, in the meantime, I'm reading uh, this website. It's Board Game Review website. It just talks about all the board games. and just how a board game review website. Yeah, oh yeah, it's huge. So they had a look at this game, and they're like, hmm. Like, it's a good game to learn the lakes. And that's about it. So, hopefully... Well, you're not getting all excited here. Like it... Hopefully it won't bore us to tears. Well, you haven't played this yet? We played it once, no. just to get a feel for... No, like... this is your wife that sleeps all the time. Like... <laughs> she slept through it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she slept through it. You wait. Maybe you'll be asleep by the end of it, too. Oh, yep. no. I got all excited now, like, eh, not so much. Thanks. Oh, traversing. Cheers. Oh, that's what it... Can I, no. Am I allowed to put this on glass? No. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, oh, that's a scam. It's like... I, I can't have any whiskey, Kevin. I'm going to have my tea. That's because your logo is on it. Oh, this is my blog. It's actually a good one, by the way. So yeah. Thanks. Have you ever watched Dragon's Den? Yeah, big time. So, you know, Kevin on there, like, hates board games. Yeah, like, anytime... I, so I was almost on <gasps> Dragon's really? Den. Yeah, I was actually For what? driving there to be on the show. What was your pitch? Uh, it was a kayak uh, company in Canada that was going to make kayaks just in Canada. Yeah. And they knew Kevin O'Leary, or they assumed Kevin O'Leary would actually go against it. So they <laughs> were going to have me come on. It's a true story. Uh, <laughs> to come on and make them all happy campers yep. and Canadian happy campers so that, that would change his mind. Uh, okay. Surprisingly enough, he actually backed the, the, the whole kayak really? thing. Yeah. So uh, I never. It never happens. Yeah. But he does not like board games. No. Yeah. So in my mind, it's always one of those like, if we came with a BWCA board game to Kevin or the Dragon's Den of course he'd be like no uh, we no, wouldn't he wouldn't invite not us invite. so we would tweak this ever so slightly more like Monopoly to make it a little more interesting but it's kind of repetitive just like really you're not it's selling like, it man canoe 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 can't, well really but when you read the camp cards you have to do it very storytelling okay yeah okay. we can make it, is yeah. it so is it uh, like eaten by bear go back seven <laughs> spaces kinda kinda really there's no dice the outhouse is full Kind of, yeah. Seven yeah. spaces. Well, anything bad happens, you get to go forward as we learn last night. Oh, like, really? Yeah, your canoe flips over. Eight canoe trail, eight, eight lakes you go ahead. Forward. Yeah, yeah, that's ridiculous. That's not a real, well, I mean, like, that's not a real So, this is the sort of thing like filtering. Like, you start it with 170 cards and start shuffling. And Was this on sale on, on eBay? <laughs> no. They're sought after because there's only like two copies left in the known North yes, America. There's only two remain. <laughs> <laughs> One's in Quidico. 
Are, are we going to start the game? <laughs> Evan? Yeah, yeah, let me let me read you the rules. Oh. Okay, so then we take... Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Look at that! Wow, this is a great game, Evan. So glad you came over. You have your canoe. Do not lose your canoe. Right. I still love the Banner Runners. I still like Quetico, so I'm good for this. All right. All right. All right. So, we will start with... Is it Portage or Portage? Portage. Pick a card, any card. Okay, I'll do the same. So, this is our it's entry like a point. Freaking book! Yeah, the whole game's a book. <laughs> it's a novel. So, what entry point are you? For uh, Burnside Lake. Number four. Number, number four? So, that's where you're going to start yeah. the game. Oh, my lord, all the way over there! Yep, and that's where you're going to end the game. Really? Yep. So, I'm, I'm 18. And I'm in the States. Yep. You're in the so States, too. Yep. Round Lake. Okay. So, keep that just handy because you'll have to remember where you're going to leave. So, it is. Portage. <laughs> We're portage Okay. We get to now draw three of those and three Canadian. Ooh, really? What? what? <laughs> There's American stuff? How There's can American, American stuff back is like, what? And then the Canadian. Heavily weighted towards BWC. No, there's more people that go to Quetico than <laughs> Mountain Waters. <laughs> well, we'll have, to, we'll have to really sell the Canadian aspect here. Okay. All right. Yep. And you want three, three each, Canadian? Yep. yep. A? <laughs> Oh, we got to, oh, we got to. Put them so out. Oh, this is your, our canoe trip. This, your canoe trip is my canoe trip. We're in a race. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I'm, the, wait a minute. Oh, but you have to go. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing I got the big bottle of for It's going to be a long trip. Oh, I don't know if it's going to last you, Kevin. And it's a blend. It's not a single malt. <laughs> Which means nothing to me. It means I have no money. That's, <laughs> thankfully, it breaks it down. So you have a lake. Oh, these are good lakes. So oh, it's yeah. like big moose lake up in there. That's nice. And it gives you a little hint. So eastern sections, so you know where to find it. So you're going to put your little markers on each, all six of the lakes out here. Where is Cliff Jacobson now? He would tell me exactly where these lakes are. <laughs> Blindfolded. Cliff. Uh, oh, Sagas. Oh, ah, God. Uh, Big Moose Lake. I already know where that is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, Canada, Min Lake. Well, I, I actually know where Tanner Lake is. We should do that. We what? should go to the United States and play this with the Americans. We should. Against the Can <gasps> Canadians. Ah, yeah. Oh, let's do that. We'll okay. have Canadians yeah. and Americans play this together. Poor Cliff. Will he know his way around the border? Right oh, the north of the border? Well, uh, Cliff knows himself around the park, but don't go across the border with him. <laughs> he gets into some confuffles. Is he allowed to cross the border? Actually, right now he is, but at one point no. I don't think he was. Okay, rock, paper, scissors. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh you go first. Oh, so, do what? Like, what do I do? <laughs> there's no dice. You start with, you're going to hop in your canoe. <laughs> hop in your canoe. Yeah. And tell me a story now, Kevin. Oh, my Lord. I, yeah, I don't know why this sold. During the afternoon, you paddle quietly in the shadows under dark, ominous cliffs. You feel as if there is some sort of primeval spirit watching you. <gasps> I know this place. I know this place. Move ahead four portages and four... Why, but you've, I know you've what... You've been there? Yeah, well, there's lots of places, but it's the one where um, the the young uh, First Nations people would run up the hill and to test themselves, and there's a whole bunch oh, of okay. things below that. Yeah, yeah it's, huh. it's around this area. All right. Yeah. You're going to move four and four. So, obviously, four yeah, lake, portages are just the dots. You think tripping would be this easy. <laughs> just tell a story, and you can zip it. So, you have to make a strategy. So, obviously, you have to hit every one of these... Roots. Yours are fairly just uh, okay. Western and Central as you. Okay, let's get this to the real thing, right? I mean, the first day I'm not going to do long portages. Oh, this I'm... is an easy day. Four? You'll do seven or eight. No, yeah, but, but I got a full gear on. I'm not going to do long <laughs> portage the first These day. These are single I've carries. I've got steak and I've got wine and I've well, got. All right. Single carries. So, single carries? Are you yeah. crazy? <laughs> no way. <laughs> your, your choice. You can go up. up. Okay. I, I have a choice of going to Slime Lake or Crab Lake. Why would I do that? Crabs, that's not good. Slime, that's not good. You come back to four. Yeah. So if I were you, I'd do, you go going to four, it's like one, two, three, and you'd land up where you want to go. Is, there's always someone like this on trip <laughs> Backseat for Oh no, Kevin, it's a great idea, except I think we should do this. It's a little marshy, but don't worry. Have, who's had a trip partner like that? Oh, the meal looks good, except every other meal looks like crap. So the water levels are fine, don't worry. All right. Okay, I have to get to where my other blue marker is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In so, fourth. 
So, okay, you this makes sense. I like this game now. Cunnings, big moose, and I'm there. You're there. So you did it in three. So what do I, Fantastic. What do so I you get? leave your canoe there. Yeah. You're going to pick up that marker. Yeah. And put it on the card that it belongs to. Okay. Yeah, so right. So you're, you're down one. So you have five to go. Right. Okay. So you're done for the day. So now okay, you're going to... Okay, can I sit by the fire and have a drink then? You do there by you picking go. this up. You're what? camping. What? Oh, we got a camp card. Yep. So tell me another story. another story. Another story. Yep, another oh story. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. Uh, this evening, a deafening boom crashes across the lake, islands, and forest. You were terribly startled. I can't see me ever being <laughs> terribly startled. Squirrel! Ah! <laughs> uh, at first, you think it is a thunder or dynamite. <laughs> One or the other. Oh, because there is mining that's going to happen in Banner Wires, and we should uh, stop that. Yeah. Bad. Uh, but then realize it is a sonic boom. Even the long silences of the north are now broken by people and their machines. Ooh. It's like, uh, what's that cartoon? Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. No, it's very, it's very spiritual, deep meaning. Captain Planet. No. Um, trees are falling, cutting down. Dr. Seuss, the trees cutting down. Lorax. 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 Lorax is happening in Boundary Waters. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm exhausted. Oh. Got a new shirt today, though. Did you? Yep. It's green. Big plaid, Canadian. Yeah. I'm at Round Lake. Let's see. I can go to the furthest point first. So hop in my canoe. Last night, everyone stayed up very late sitting around the campfire. Today, you got a slow start. Two and two. Doesn't sound like me at all. So I am going to camp for the night at Owl Lake. You study a bird book and discover that your large, fearless visitor is a Canadian jay. Jay! Jay, jay! Also called the gray jay, which we know, yeah. Whiskey, Whiskey jack. jack or camp, camp robber. robber. You've played this game before. No, I just know a lot of things <laughs> that mean nothing. <laughs> Hop back in your canoe. Really? Okay, ready? Yep. You are improving your canoeing ability. Paddling on calm lakes, choppy lakes, narrow winding streams, and weedy ponds. You paddle in the stern and in the bow. You sit in the middle as a duffer. A duffer? Is that American? No, it's a princess. Oh, well. If you're in the middle. La-di-da. Well, if you're in the middle and not paddling, you're a princess. Duffer. You're gaining canoe skills and learning to work as part of a team. Move ahead seven portages and seven lakes! But you were wasting time. I'm a duffer. <laughs> Right. Paddling in the bow by yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna take this river then. So now I know that I have to get to my next blue thing. Yes. So I'm taking this Moose River right down that. That's one. Yep. And then I go into Lake Agnes, which I've been to many times, and Lac La Croix, which is. So a, you have to stop now at the border. What? what? No! And pick up a permit. No! Can I illegally go across? <laughs> what's, in, what's in your portage pack? Grab one of those permits over there. So you have your permit. Get a permit. Okay, carry on. Oh, it's not that easy. <laughs> You've never been. A, last time I went across the border, yeah. I was coming back from Kinucopia. Full body surge, buttocks and groin, in the pants. I'm not lying to you. You know what it was? No. I had a penny, yeah. a Canadian penny. Like how old? A was lucky that? penny. In one of my side pockets. Yeah. Meaning those pants were really old, and I never washed them. And that's what made the machine go. Ooh, oh. He's wrong. There's something wrong with him. At the toll, just to dump everything. Thank you, American border. I'm going across. And then go here? Yep. And there? You're I'm, there. Whoa, You're there. Look at that! Okay, on Min Lake, which is actually a really nice lake, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, you're camping. Oh, yeah! All right. Tonight, you watch a pair of otters. You want to know that. <laughs> uh, swim around the small bay, then frolic. Ooh, Ooh. Frolic. Um, off the point near your campsite. They're having sex. That's all again? I don't get anything for that? That's it. The end. Well, the end. Obviously, obviously the, the, I'll just get something. <laughs> I'll hop in my canoe. Today, you become profoundly aware of the great solitude and peace that can be found in the wilderness. Six and six. You should get 12 and 12. <laughs> you One, well, you just two, have to go. You three. Got, really? Of all, all the, like, really? Like, yeah, it was a waste of time. That day. is yeah. a waste yeah. of, re really. Yeah. Like, that's just boring. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got up early, so you're there yeah. at your campsite by noon. You know, no, that's like someone told you there's tons of lake trout in that lake oh, yeah. catching nothing. That's what that feels like. <laughs> I wasted a yeah. full day. Yeah. So, while making supper, you notice a dark, heavy rock near the fire gate. One member of your group finds it attracts her pocket knife. Easy. A magnetic iron ore. Mm -hmm. Deposits of this ore are scattered throughout the northeastern Minnesota and southern Canada. 
Okay, like, sorry, that gets tossed. Yeah. <laughs> Who likes rocks? I, some people, about maybe half a percent of the population. Mm, boring. Like, really. Yeah. Uh, you teach your companions how to flip up, flip down, and portage a canoe. <laughs> it's a good thing I finished that sentence. Uh, <laughs> this saves wear and tear on equipment and muscles. Move ahead six portages in six lakes. But you just wasted the whole morning. You going to take the long way around? No, Malign River, Tanner Lake. I'm going to Tanner Lake. Andy, that, I, that's two lakes for six. <laughs> Andy that night on Tanner Lake, we yep. camped there. Uh, we were on a 28-day canoe trip. I think it was like, I think we had four days left. And we had this rice something, I don't know, we made. And never do this. <laughs> and there's just a little bit left. And he goes, oh, it shouldn't go to waste. So he just finished the entire thing. I could even see his belly. <laughs> And that Monty Python scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stuck. Want to, want to mince, sir? No, I'm stuck. <laughs> so we'll wrap it, wrap it thin. <laughs> oh, no, no. Bad. All right, Tanner Lake. Oh, campsite? Yes, you're camping for the night. Yep. See, we're getting it now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tonight you watch the sunset. Oh. <laughs> uh, flaming colors of orange and pink, then lavender and cobalt. Wow, you're... <laughs> oh, the rock guy made up this one. <laughs> uh, paint, <laughs> paint the sky and reflect... In the water. That's Beautiful. Lovely. Love it. Yeah. Oh, man, it's been a such a long winter. Love winter camping. Uh, no problem with that. Yeah. But, man. No, there's just that tipping point where yeah. uh, it's not quite fun anymore. Like, it's yeah. too warm. Just like this game. Not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not cold enough. You just get that itch, you know, like to ice out, ice out, ice out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So everyone in my group knows that healthy feet are essential on a canoe trip. True. Stinky feet. <laughs> they wear shoes or boots at all times while moving about. That's a big debate. No, I wrote a story about that just two weeks ago. Tell me more. Okay, I wear hikers. I wear hikers. Well, there's no debate then. <laughs> but I have people wear sandals yes. on the port hub. Ah, no. no. You're risking twisting your ankle yeah, and... Yeah, no. well, Cliff Jacobson, he said that if you wear hiking boots and you flip in the water, you're gonna sink like a rock. And I said, yeah, but you're it's gonna like twist an ankle. Buoyant sandals. He's, he must be a hippie. All right, all right, seven and seven. Well, what am I going to do here? Oh, you're not doing well at all. Oh, boy. I'm going to go for the long run. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Yeah, I think so, too. One, two. Oh, you got a guy down there? No, that's you. Three. Oh, my God. Oh, five, I might not win. I didn't see six, that. Six, seven. What? Camping. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're... I'm going to leave that one for later. Oh, he's strategizing. Here's open. After setting up camp, you spend an hour alone. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'm solo camping. What's going on? You sit quietly under a tree in your journal and reflecting on this remarkable outdoor experience. Yeah. Hop in the canoe. Okay. Well, here we go. Today, you practice your C, J, draw, and prize stroke. The C and J stroke help the stern paddlers guide the canoe. The draw and pry stroke used by both paddlers move the canoe to the side. <laughs> that it does. Uh, one big thing, I when I got it for years, not in Aquatico. I well, got it in Aquatico. And that's a story I'll tell mm. you. Not in Tuagami, <laughs> though. Um, I would always have the I'm important, you're not person mm. in the back and yeah. tell the person in the front, all you should do is the forward stroke. Right. That's all you have to do. That's not true at all. They have to do the draw, cross yep. draw, yep. C stroke, whatever. Maybe not the J. Mm -hmm. Maybe not yeah, the sure, K sure. stroke. Yeah. But, but sure enough, by the end of it, divorce. <laughs> the person in the front, especially on rivers, have to be, has to be a better paddler than the person in the back. Yeah. So, so you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, six. All right. Six. They're off <sighs> the races. I'm going to Wicksteed. Oh, that is a... You want to catch fish. Yeah. Go to Wicksteed. I mean, no. Do not go to Wicksteed Lake <laughs> I hear it's catch bad. any fish. It's terrible. Yeah. William Lake. Oh, and that's where... Is William Lake... William, I think is... I, I might be wrong with this one. There's a stash of notes of people have gone there and wrote oh, yeah. about things. Yeah, I think that's in William Lake. Yeah. It's one of the stashes I've been to. That's amazing. Uh, then I go to Brent. Oh, Brent's a beautiful lake. The islands are, are great. Oh, and that one... That island is fantastic. Uh, oh, I want to go canoeing. <laughs> All you've done is depress me. All right, uh, Brent, and then I'm going to go right into Burnt or Bert and take Bert. that right out of there camp. and camp. You're camping. Oh, all right. That's a beautiful route, by the way. Is it in your book? I Probably, yeah. yeah. I, it's up here. <laughs> 
You have read about the climate on this border country. Annual precipitation is approximately 24 inches. <laughs> centimeters? Centimeters, come on. What are they talking about? Centimeters? U.S.? A lot of rain. Mm. Most of this falls as rain during the spring and early summer. About one... Fi- oh, the guy that wrote the Brother Rocks did wrote this one, too. About one... Sorry. <laughs> About one fifth falls of snow. Temperatures commonly range from 30 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter to 30 What's degrees Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Hey Siri. It's minus 1.1 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that's not cold. No. That's not cold. What the heck's wrong with you people? That's not cold at all. Ooh. Slate, slate chill. You, I'm, when it gets to minus 40 Celsius, we're talking. Uh, you know, it freezes. freezes too. <laughs> like, oh, it freezes right up the urethra. Unpleasant. <laughs> okay. right, hop into my canoe. Today you enjoy. What kind of canoe do you have? I have a Swift Key Waden. Really? Sixteen six. You just have one canoe. Just the one. I had three. Now I'm down to one. Really? I would you say. You got married. You can only have one. Really? <laughs> I have twelve canoes. Twelve. Today I enjoy watching a pair of loons as they repeatedly swim and dive alongside my canoe. Five and five. That's oh, you should get more than five for that. I know. I'm probably taking too many photos. That's the problem. You know, loons are very two, nasty birds that three, kill four, McGann's or young when they get into the territory. I do like that. Yeah, I still long, like them though. Long lake. Okay, camping. Oh, and I remember once too. Uh, so loons, um, they abandon their young really quickly when they're hmm. in danger, right? Yeah. So I'm going across the lake, and the wind is pushing me against this loon and this chick. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to back paddle away from it because I don't want that to happen. I couldn't, I couldn't, and couldn't. And sure enough, the female loon takes off. Northern pike comes up. <laughs> swallows Holy. the baby loon. Really? Right there. Like, not good, but wow, what an experience. I was up at uh, Clarney late in the season last year, and uh, there was a, a loon there with its young, but it was like, end of the season and it's still the, the young was still pretty tiny like yeah. it's obviously a late bloomer i'm like yeah. you're not gonna make the no, flight it's not. south I like, say that. Yeah. last year was a, a was, was a, because it was a late spring yeah just like this year it's gonna be late spring pushed it yeah so it's gonna be a problem yeah and the the uzi have two um but the one is born a couple of days before the other and it will peck and peck mm. and peck and kill the other <laughs> and the parents don't do anything about ruthless it. yeah similar to my childhood my three older sisters just to let you know same thing happened. Tonight I talk about use and preservation of the wilderness. Very important. Say that louder. Two of my companions wish for more access by motorboat, snowmobile, and float plane. What? You and another companion advocate less. You believe that the wilderness and wildlife experience suffer greatly when machines enter the area. That's very true. Well, the definition of a wilderness park in Ontario, which is Quetico, is to travel by non-mechanized means. Yeah. Uh, there are First Nations people that do travel by motorboat there, but that's by treaty right. Uh, that's it. <coughs> in the canoe you go. Did yeah. you camp? I can. I'm camping. Yeah. Whew, you were canoeing early in the season, and the water is still very cold. And d- you know, really, don't do things like that. Like everybody's all excited yeah. to go out, and like you can call me an old cranky <laughs> whatever. Frig, like if if someone dies, and that is a terrible thing when it happens. But what also that happens is the media goes crazy on yeah. it and everybody wants everybody registered and licensed and everything yeah. else for, for canoeing. And yeah, there's already been three deaths this year in Canada of canoeists. I d- oh. yeah. uh, you take no chances and canoe close to shore at all times. It doesn't say here wear a PFD though. No. Okay. Wear Rule a PFD. number one. Actually, in the rules of wilderness camping, they still don't mention PFD. Okay, carry on. Really? Yeah. Uh, this game's crap. All right. What do six and six? Six and six. All right. Whoa. You're way up north. So. Oh, I have to get down here. Down there. Oh this no! Side. Go for that one. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna go to old oh, Joyce Lake. That's be oh bald eagle uh, nest right on Joyce Lake. Last time I was there. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. Oh, yum yum. Oh, that is a great yum yum. That's a fantastic trip. Yum yum. Pick a lake. Five. I've never been in West Shade Lake. I should. Well, now you have. What, if you named a lake, what would you call it? Uh, it'd be like a Serenity Lake or Serenity Now. Serenity Now Lake. All right, all right. I'd call it Trout Lake because I don't think anybody's ever called it's a lake only Trout Lake. Pickerel. Before. Yeah, Pickerel Lake or or Blue Lake. I don't Blue. think everybody's ever used those <gasps> terms. All right. Camp. Campsite. Oh, I'm exhausted. It's a long day. 
Yeah, I spent the day teaching students at risk out in the woods, and um, we picked wild leeks and ate them. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. Them smell them off me, but yeah. <laughs> during supper, you share information on determining direction without a compass. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet okay. hand watches. Sweet hand watches. Sunrises and sunsets, and the North Star are excellent. I have never got the North Star. Yes, mm. you can do that. Who's going to walk at night? Yeah, yeah. I don't get it. The sun. So, yeah. Um, put a stick in the ground. Shadow goes this way. Yep. Wait a few minutes. Shadow moves. Stick in the ground. Yep. In between the two sticks is northward. Right. Or you just bring a compass or a GPS or something. Never leave home without a compass. Or your phone that has yeah. a compass. Like, like yeah. really, just didn't be stupid. Yep. yep. All right. That's a good rule to live by. Eating in a beautiful spot gives you an opportunity for him to fully appreciate and absorb the unique character of the Quidico Superior. Five and five. Wow. I agree. There's a tear. <laughs> Start crawling there on that one. Oh, heading north, coming back to Canada. One, two, three, four, five, which takes me to there. Uh, wait a minute. To get in Canada, I'm going to ask you a skill testing question. Okay. Uh, hmm. What First Nations group is at Lake St. Croix? Is it Cree or Ojibwe? Or <laughs> I will say Ojibwe. I don't know the answer, but I'm pretty sure they're Ojibwe. Yeah. They're not Cree, because yeah. that would be Northern Quebec. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and if we're wrong, so I'm sorry. You have been careless about drinking. <laughs> <laughs> How did they know? Oh, untreated water. Oh. All right, we're good. And get an attack of what you believe to be the flu. No, it's not. It's called the poops. <laughs> Jardia. Uh, but later find out it's Jardia. Jardia. Yeah. Which is a bunch of single cell protozoans mm. that go in your intestine, and you don't get them until 10 or 12 days later. They don't, yes. they don't... you finish your canoe trip, yeah. you go home, and then you and get then the you... <laughs> So, if you're on a five day trip and you think you've got it, yeah. it's not that, no. right? And when they, and it's so bad that you have to get med medicine. Yeah. To, yeah. It's terrible. I've when never I had got it, it, never had it. Oh, I got it three times Ugh. in my career, but the, what, the, what, the first time I go to the doctor, of course, I knew the doctor and the lady there, the, the secretary, and she goes, Kevin, you forgot to put your name on your stool sample. Could you come back? Of course, everybody's <laughs> looking at me like, oh, my Lord. Okay, this intestinal parasite is transmitted in water and carried by beaver, moose, and yeah, man. Women, too. You just can't say a man. Who wrote this? Transmitted in water and carried by beaver, moose, and people. He went, took a poop, came back. Wiped his hands on my tea towel. Ugh. This is day three of a guided trip. And I went, have you been doing that all trip? Oh, goes, yeah, no. what's the problem? I went, that is a huge problem. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> you're, you're canoeing. <laughs> Sorry, I got Lose your turn. <laughs> Jardy up. Jardy for the win. You lose my turn. <laughs> Actually, that, that's a good... That's, I like that, that, that part of the game. Sense. That's that makes sense. That's a good part of the game. Yep. Yep. Uh, next, it should be bear attack. <laughs> Lose two turns. Lose your tent. Yes. Last night I caught four smallmouth bass no, and then no, left them the on a stringer. <laughs> this morning you go to clean them and find only ragged scraps of flesh and bone. What? Guess what? Turtles ate my dinner. Yeah, snapping turtles. Two and two. Yeah. Which no, still makes you no get sense. I know. On that. You should lose points. I know. On that. Uh, for my one, two. Uh oh, leaves a three. What do you Ivy. leave him be? Ivy yeah. Yes. Yeah. There is. Uh, you avoid contact with this toxic plant and advise your companions to do likewise. Yeah. Leave him be. Seven year itch, because <laughs> it's in your bloodstream for seven oh, years. Holy cow. Yeah. Did you? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, so if you get it, and then the next year or five years later, if you walk near it, it will You're prone to it. Yeah, it will trigger it. Yeah. Really? Uh, my dad. Use it for toilet paper once. He was in the oh. hospital for a couple days. Oh, no. True story. Look, like, like, it's a novel. <laughs> My latest book is shorter than that. <laughs> Today you discuss the importance of caring for your canoe. I, I don't it love it. it and pet it. It is your prime. Oh, the canoe. <laughs> it's your primary means of wilderness travel. The canoe must be loaded and unloaded only while in the water. Oh, here's the debate. Uh oh. While in the water, carried ashore and stored upside down. It must be never be dragged over rocks, allowed to run over beaver dams, 
or portage with packs in it. I want to meet these people that wrote these. You don't love your canoe that way? No. It's, <laughs> it's a piece of... It's a utility. It's a tool. Tool, I see. When you use a hammer, do you hammer things or do you like tap it? Except the time I was in a canoe with a friend and we were like kind of stuck over, you know, like a beaver lodge sort of thing. And you're kind of like, oh, maybe we can kind of just ease the canoe forward. Yeah. Oh, and did it snap? No, but thankfully you just made that initial little like... Did it really? And, yeah. And we're like, whoop. Okay, we're getting out. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. that's not a good yeah. thing. Yeah. No, it wasn't even ours. It was a friend, so... <laughs> we're like, oh, well, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> seven portages, seven lakes. Holy. You know. Um, I, I must be doing bench shaft. <laughs> you get the extra power stroke. Yeah. No, I don't do bench shaft. Mm -mm. I'm a Canadian paddler, and I do the J-stroke. Here's the thing I got in a lot of trouble with social media the other day. Uh -oh. And I'm still okay with this, okay? I'm still okay. Like, you can slam me all you want. I'm okay with this. Poor Jim Baird. Yep. Uh, great interview. Yeah, that was fun. That was great. He's an um, amazing yeah, guy. Amazing. Yeah. When I say he's a real deal, he's the real deal. Yeah. Well, until he gets arrested, and then I, it's really embarrassing. He's got a bench, or not a bench shaft, a double blade. And uh, see, that's not for canoeists. See? No. Well, yeah. No. Oh, no. I in the old days, people did use the the double blade for solo paddling mm -hmm. at times, but you had to be lower. Right. In the canoe, you can't be sitting up in a prospector. I mean, yeah, no, you no need sense, that lower right? center of gravity. And it makes sense going up current. Glenn Hooper, a really ma mm -hmm. amazing uh, YouTuber guy. And yep. this is years ago. I was in uh, um, Wabakimi uh, going towards mm -hmm. James Bay. And here's this guy going on a solo trip mm -hmm. you know, for over a month. And he was double blading up a current. Well, that makes sense. Sure. It was a major, sure. major current. And that's why he did it. But my comment was, you know, what we call canoeists that use a double blade right now is canoeists that don't know how to paddle <laughs> and oh my god i got some people like that I, I, i've been you know i've been double batting for two years i went y you're missing my point man like like you know like i'm not saying that's sure. bad sure. i'm saying but do you know how to do the j do you yep. know how to do the canadian stroke do you know yep. how to do the c stroke do you know yep. how to no you don't so you're doing yep. the double blade yep. sorry it is easier for people with like a back condition because there's less rotation but it's yes. still get yes. yourself a paddle learn spend yes. some time on the I, lake i'm really worried right now that people are not taking time to build up skill that takes years sure yeah it's worth it canoe skills yeah. do not take weeks and months yeah. of watching youtube videos yeah. and i'm not knocking the youtube because i do youtube right we're on youtube right now yeah are we yeah oh i did not know that <laughs> um so <laughs> but learn how to paddle use the double blade use the bench shaft use a, a you know an yep. old canoe yep. use a new canoe whatever we're gonna have people getting injured out there yeah yeah i'm really worried about that but i am old and paranoid <laughs> just let you know i'm not that old but i am paranoid <laughs> where are we we're lost <laughs> we're lost in the wilderness now oh, oh my wow. lord it is late in the season the red maples have changed from their summer oh red maple is a soft maple by the way not our maple um, from the summer green and autumn scarlet, the tamaracks, oh, which actually are the only conifer that does not change. Oh, no, that does. It does change. Loses needles, yeah. which messes up the whole evergreen thing. Hmm. Uh, the tamaracks are beginning to turn yellow. We haven't even had ice out yet. I don't know. Where. You're, you're this right. is a long canoe trip. I'm exhausted. Oh, let me just check out the cameras. Yeah. It's like going on the Dixon Bonfield portage in Algonquin. <laughs> oh, is it over yet? Is it over yet? While crossing a portage, you see a woodchuck scramble up a tree. Woodchuck, chuck, wood, chuck, chuck, wood. How much? Ye chuck. You watch with interest because you have never seen one climb <laughs> and did not know they could. They they climb trees. I saw I saw I, I no I've I've actually seen a groundhog in a tree. Is he yeah. going for the juicy limbs or? No, I don't know why, but he was right. He he had climbed uh, a tree. Yeah. Impressive. Four and four. Brr. I'm camping. Uh oh. Oh, the bear. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to hang my food pack. Don't get into that debate with Clint Jacobson. <laughs> but fortunately, I scare him off by shouting and splashing. Really? Yeah. Okay. So have yourself a wee dram and go to a video of mine on Cliff Jacobson and I debating about hanging your food pack or not. And then you decide. Hmm. The eternal debate rages yeah, on. It's huge debate. Yeah. Really huge. I hang my pack. He doesn't. We've never solved the issue. <laughs> you decide unwisely to run a set of rapids. 
<laughs> in your Kevlar canoe. Oh my lord. Uh, you hit a rock and capsize. You spend the remainder of the day gathering your equipment, returning to your last night's campsite, hanging your belongings out to dry, and nursing your bruises. Lose your turn. Dang, I hate this game. At noon, you slide your canoe into a narrow sand beach, climb a small hill, and return to find your canoe floating away. A slight breeze has dislodged it. Your companion quickly wades out and grabs it. Averting <laughs> disaster. Move head two and two. Oh, okay. You don't a... get two points for that. Your wife just said you've done it before and she wanted to divorce you. Like, what the? You just can't get two points for that. I I lost a turn yeah. for. Jardia. <laughs> two. Oh. Good old Jardia. Although I often cook over a fire, which is not true, I use camp stoves, you mm -hmm. always keep it small and build it on the fire grate. That's another problem, fire grates in the woods. Yeah. You gather only dead and downed wood, enough for your needs and only a bit for the next camper. On windy or dry evenings, you cook over a small backpacker stove. That's a lovely That's... campfire story. Yeah. Okay. The lakes and streams levels are very high after a winter of deep snow. It was a long canoe trip, holy cow. Oh uh, consequently, you paddle through a small stream along with which you would normally need to portage. Oh, move ahead! Eight! <laughs> yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Oh, that's a lot! Look, look at this! I'm going to go... Wait a minute, no. I'm going to go to Burke's... Oh, Sunday Lake is... No, oh, that's nice lake. Sunday, Sunday Lake. Yeah, it is. One, two... I'm going to go to Sunday even though if I don't have to. Just to say three... Four. I gotta go across the border again. You're fine. You're fine. What? What do you mean? You know, you already have your permits. So you're good. No, that they makes wave no you sense. on through. Nope. No, I've already. That's no. how it works in real life. Really? No. <laughs> this game is. What's in your canoe pack, sir? I I was at that border, that exact same border one. They had dogs. This is back in oh. the '90s, and the dogs were sniffing packs. And... <laughs> and... <laughs> in the middle of your story. <laughs> Time out. Hold that thought. Extra uh, action. What? Oh, oh yeah. What are we talking about? Um, oh yeah. Sniffing your canoe back. Yeah. So I was on that portage going into Basswood, uh, and um, man, there's so many stories about Basswood Lake, but but they had dog sniffers sniffing at wow. packs, right? And for for drugs. And I go, so what's what's going on? Well, we do this program, you know, sniff for drugs because you know if the people want to snug, snuggle. <laughs> smuggle drugs. Want to smuggle drugs? Want to smuggle drugs? They would actually do this at the border, but we're finding so much marijuana that it's a waste of time. Like, like this is, is all these canoeists are a special bunch that we have it legal in Canada. Yeah, um, yeah. I I actually personally don't do this that, but but the other one is on basswood. It was hilarious. There was a guy at the American border, and he goes, "I gotta go. To these guys are illegally fishing." So in the United States. Um, you're allowed a motorboat mm -hmm. on Basswood Lake. In Canada, you're not. It's the same lake, right? <laughs> and there's the line, like on the map. There's a line. Yeah, yeah. Well, nobody can see that line. <laughs> but he knew where the line was. And these, this motorboat went across the line. And I went up to him. And I said, I got to ask, like, what are you guys doing? Oh, the fishing is a lot better in Canada. <laughs> 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 and it's like, oh, it's invisible. All right. Oh, uh, oh camping on Burst Lake. Yeah. Oh, your camp. In a stand of balsam fir, its fragrance, even a small souvenir pillow, always reminds you of this border country. Balsam fir does smell really good. So if you're going winter mm. camping, though, so I was winter camping with the, the Cree. We were out for a month, and they were all using balsam, and I was using spruce. Mm -hmm. And they didn't tell me this, mm. but the, the one guy, his wife was giggling at me every night and doing this to me, like, you stink. I was like, why? Well, everybody stinks. Uh, spruce, after a while, you smell like cat pee. Oh, no. Balsam, you don't. I, really? Yeah. So I <laughs> smell like cat pee for a month. Your turn. All right. A member of my group loses her fishing rod. Do you want you to look at your wife at that time? <laughs> like, write that. Like, like write, what happened? Is there a story? It's a sheet. She <laughs> thinks she left it on the last portage. You go back, but do not find it. You have lost not only a fishing rod, but valuable canoeing time. Two and two. That would be me with something else, not a fishing rod, but for sure I would leave something behind and be like, I don't know where it is. 
This is where I don't say anything. Northern Light Lake. During the day, you get lost in a small lake with many islands and bays. You eventually find your way back to the portage and have left several hours earlier. Consulting the map frequently. Are you all right? You now cross the lake without difficulty. Move it. Oh, two. <laughs> Friggin'. Are you serious? Come on. Rough canoe trip, Kevin. I'm almost. Oh, wait a minute. I have to go back there, though, don't I? Oh, I, oh, I did not. Oh, I didn't see. I thought that was you. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go to Boot Lake and Jordan Lake. After eating your clean, oh, after eating, what? After eating, sorry, there should be. Comma. Uh, you clean your plates. Whoever made this should be comma. Uh, utensils and pots as thoroughly as possible with your spoons. This may not be a good manner. Are you all right? Kyla, what's just walk in front of the camera. Um, there's a lot of things happening here. My daughter has to have a shower. She, she's got a math test tomorrow. Your wife is talking to the realtor because you're trying to sell a house tonight. It's like, and you're pl playing this game. And, oh, Kevin, I've got an idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Basically, do not wash your dishes in the lake. No, nope. that's what this is all nope. about. Right. You respect all living things. You use only. <laughs> ooh, you do too, eh? You use only dead wood for your fires and obey all fishing, hunting, and plant protection laws. <laughs> seven and seven. Maybe today would be a good day. Okay. You respect and care for your canoe, paddles, and pack. You keep the canoe from scraping the bottom. Do you uh, lift your packs sure. by their ears? Look, I, like, really, I, I, my canoe, I throw it on the ground. I shove it over the beaver dam. I do whatever. <laughs> it, 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 it's a good canoe, it, 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 and it costs a lot of money. It, it will not break. Maybe yours, it will not <laughs> break. All right, so I'm, I'm good with all that stuff. Okay, We're so I get uh, six. Six. Oh, so I go to Tom's Fraser. Segus. Oh, got it. Today, I travel too long and late. It becomes dark and stormy, and you must set up a makeshift camp. You disturb the area as little as possible and do not build a fire, but know that such camping is prohibited in much of Quidico Superior. Three and three. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. It is late in the season and the nights are very cold. You have, however, brought heavy sweaters, gloves, wool, hat, and windbreaker and are completely comfortable. I can go mm. six. Wow. You brought your winter camping gear with you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, so I got to go to Elbow Lake. I got to go to... Oh, man. One, two, three. I got to go... Al Alice Lake is a nice lake. Uh, oh, and then into Lake Insula. Oh, there you go. You got your uh, next marker. Yeah, I didn't think I was actually in that lake, but I was. You got all six. <laughs> there, you headed home. Woo! Oh, the goods and bads of that. You're on your uh, yeah. journey's end. Yep. You're excited yep. because you can get, you know, Tim Hortons coffee <laughs> in the way. Actually, not really. Tim Hortons is no, you know, you're going downhill, man. I don't really like it right now, but. Um, the whole idea of actually, oh, you get to watch Netflix and stuff at home, hmm. you get to come. but at the same time, good shower, yeah, good shower. but you're you're not really no. in the woods anymore, no. and that's just like eh, it's yeah. a yin and yang, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my God! Look, 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 really, seriously. I don't have that enough. Like really, film. Like, come on. Come okay, on. Uh, I'll just uh, during the night you wake and slip from the tent, then sit quietly on the shore. We blah 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 blah. Oh look, I look at the beautiful stars. And it's, it's yes, it is nice. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I thoughtlessly packed my matches in a plastic bag. <laughs> the bag is torn, and the matches are wet. Fortunately, my companion has Spring others. Lighter. Fortunately, my companion has others in this small plastic bottle. Move heads three and three. I use a knife and one of the flints. Really? Yeah, works. Oh, he's a bushcrafter. Yeah. One, two, three. I should have married you when you had the chance. Uh, <laughs> this trip, you're paddling an aluminum canoe. Oh, I brought a Grumman for this whole trip. Really? That's then a rough... Then you would have died by now. <laughs> That's a rough portal. Like really? And we're people... Other trips, coming. you've yeah. used an ABS plastic or wood and canvas canoe. Each... T <laughs> Man, none of these are really fit for this there's, kind of trip. There's no way you can win. Each type has, of canoe has its advantages and disadvantages. You prefer the wood and canvas canoe for its beauty and quiet travel. True. Your companion prefers either of the two <laughs> for their lesser weight and lower cost. 
Really? <laughs> well, when was this board game made? When Grumman's were the thing. Okay, so... Uh, okay, okay. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. All right. After carrying your gear across a long streamside portage, you walk slowly back along the trail, watching the sparkling water rush across the rocks and swirl in foams of eddies around the particular submerged logs. Move ahead, five. Oh, you hit. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay, Hudson. Um, ooh, Lake three, Lake four. Oh, I've been there. Lake two. Oh, yeah. So one, two, three, I go into Lake one. <laughs> I'm in Lake one. I did find Banner Waters uh, to be a different landscape. I, Aquatico, especially the south end of Aquatico, is more what they call Norway pine, but it's mm -hmm. basically like a big, huge pine. I find the south end of Aquatico nicer than the north end, which Americans would know. Because, and I, mm -hmm. it really, we, we have to thank the Americans for actually Aquatico because, if, do you know the history of this? Yeah, yeah well, if it wasn't for them... Um, kind of establishing that property, the Quetico wouldn't have existed. Yeah, it was. It was. They, they pushed for Quetico to be extended, yeah. and it was actually Sigurd Olson, a mm -hmm. great American yep. writer. I love his, his writing. His books are fantastic. Yeah, and he figured out if he met Eric Morris, mm -hmm. our, our Canadian yep. version of Sigurd yep. uh, Olson, on a portage once, and met the Voyagers, this political part group, um, to actually extend the park system. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, that, that it all happened. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you and I should do this summer. Okay. We should wait on a portage and wait for some political party to come by. <laughs> we'll head up to Wolf Lake and we'll just sit there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Today, you canoe into a snag. Great. Fortunately, the canoe is unharmed. Thank goodness. The stern paddler could not see it, obviously. And the bow paddler was not paying attention, obviously. Two and two. You only get two for that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty big snag. You're going nowhere. I'm, but I'm like, back. I'm almost home. I'm home. What? What? Wall? Well, 18. No. Round Lake. No, you're done? I'm putting my canoe back on the car. <laughs> I don't like this game at all. You have time still, according to the rules. I don't really. I, I, I Each <laughs> player gets to finish their paddle. Uh, I had good wind, and you had Jardia. <laughs> That's true. You had good winds, and I had the poops. Okay. okay. <laughs> but uh, that area is amazing. It's made for paddles. Yeah. It is made for canoes because you, one of the greatest trips ever is to go all the way around Quetico. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's uh, called hmm, something Island Loop. Uh-oh. Ooh, mm -hmm. forget. It's a big trip. Yeah. And taking about 10 days. But don't mm -hmm. go to Quetico or Bender Waters and do like a weekend route that doesn't yeah like, doesn't you can do sense. that yeah. but don't do that the whole idea of that area is to spend as much time as possible in the wilderness and not playing board games <laughs> we're doing this because we're still iced in so yeah yeah I good game kevin all right i just can't believe they actually let you back in the game. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's it. <laughs>